Ashley here and today I'm going to show you how to make straw and sawdust bulk substrate. First you will need sawdust. Lots of things can work for this. I'm just using wood shavings made of pine, poplar, cottonwood, and oak. I would get whatever breaks up the easiest. Then you will need a bale of hay. Next, sterilize both buckets with alcohol. Then scoop 8 to 10 cups of sawdust and put it directly into your 5 gallon bucket. Next, scoop 8 to 10 cups of straw and put it directly into your 5 gallon bucket. I try to do 50% straw and 50% sawdust. I also recommend wearing gloves. I got a lot of splinters doing this without gloves. Now we need to soak the straw and sawdust. Fill the buckets with water and completely cover the sawdust and the straw. Also, you need some kind of weight to hold down the straw. I used a brick, it worked well. Then add one tablespoon of gypsum and give it a quick stir. Then close the buckets with a lid and soak the straw and sawdust for 24 hours. After 24 hours, remove the lids and the weight from the straw and then drain the buckets. Next, mix together the straw and sawdust into one bucket and thoroughly mix so they are evenly distributed in the bucket. Then fill your bulk substrate bags for the sterilization process. I am using a five pound bulk substrate bag. Since we are using sawdust, we must sterilize the bulk substrate instead of pasteurize it. Now we need to sterilize the bags. First, add a few cups of water in the bottom of the pressure cooker. I am using a 23 quart pressure cooker. Then we need to prepare our bulk substrate bags. Fold the bags on the creases with the filter facing out. Then place the bags in the pressure cooker side by side. Then place the metal safety topper on the bag so that the valve doesn't catch on the bags. If you don't place this in there, you could cause a bomb in your pressure cooker. Then sterilize at 15 PSI for at least two to four hours. I did mine for two hours and I think that was sufficient. Then after two hours, turn off the heat and release the pressure. Then wait 24 hours for your bulk substrate to cool down and then it's ready to use. If you use it while it's too hot, it could kill the mycelium. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook. My oyster mushrooms colonized this straw bulk substrate in five days. They really seem to love it.